Whether you're planning a new year or a new life or wanting to move forward in some new direction, here are five rules of the road. I remember learning how to drive back in the 60s in those old simulators in driver's ed and driver's training. And I recall that there was a man named Mr. Smith who came up with the Smith driving method. Uh, and there were five rules of the road that we had to memorize. Over the years, um, these rules have come up to me in memory and even in prayer, as I recognize they're really good rules of the road for not just relationships uh, and, and driving, but also the interior life and life in general. So I'm gonna share, I'm really happy to, to share these five rules of the road for you. Um, so number one, aim high in steering. Aim high in steering. I didn't know what that meant, but I do. I knew right away when I got into a car and I didn't have confidence and I didn't have the skills yet, I was afraid. And so I gripped the wheel and I was looking like right over the wheel and like at the hood of the car. Um, I didn't know how to lift my head and my eyes and look out into the horizon straight ahead. I was looking right down at the immediate. And I, I realize this is what happens to us in life, our financial situation right now, our love life right now. You know, we're looking right at the hood of the car and we're kind of panicked and going, where are we going, where are we going? And we have to just kind of relax and lift our head and look out and look ahead, um, not always down at the immediate. Uh, and some of the other uh, five rules of the road are gonna like play into this one. So aim high and steering. Also, I take this to mean in your relationships, especially romantic relationships and marriage, aim high in virtue, aim high in morals and principles and ways to love and be loved. Aim high, don't settle for less. Don't settle for just the myopic vision of what's right in front of you. Lift your head, trust God, and aim high in steering. Number two, get the big picture. And this kind of goes along with aim high in steering. Once you're lifting your head and looking out, you also want to look up and out and around everywhere. You want to see everything that you that's available to you. Um, and, and you also, the, what is the big picture in life? Well, in general, we're not, this is not our home. The earth is not our home. Marriage and love are wonderful, but they're not our ultimate end. It's God who calls us and God who wants us and God who loves us and God who protects us and guides us and desires us and has all good things for us. And sometimes I know in my own life, in the past, I have made an idol out of romantic relationships and even marriage. Um, but that's not the big picture. That's a part of the picture, an important part of the picture. It's not the big picture. So when you're going through life and you're not, your relationship isn't going right, or you don't even have a, relation, a romantic relationship, remember the big picture. You're coming from love, you're going to love, and just keep going. So aim high in steering, get the big picture. Number three, keep your eyes moving. Well, I kind of laughed at that. I remember when I was young, it's like, what, you know, keep, keep them rolling around like this and, you know, no, the instructor was saying, you know, look ahead, but also occasionally look to your left, occasionally look to your right, and occasionally look in the rear view mirror. Don't just run on autopilot and close everything off and go, oh, this is a relationship, I'm getting what I want, putting the blinders on and going ahead. You have to keep your eyes moving around at what's around you, what's coming at you, what's in front of you, and even what's coming up behind you. You know, this is a metaphor for our past. What is haunting us from our past? Bad memories, bad habits, sin habits, um, fears, anxieties that are just, you know, lurking there. We don't want to look at those. But it's really important to look in the rearview mirror because the things that are coming up behind us sometimes affect our moving forward. I learned this the hard way when I was in high school. I had just gotten my license. I thought I was all that. I was in the car with my sister and a few friends, and we had the radio cranked up. And uh, I got pulled over. I finally saw you know, the red light and heard the siren. And when the cop pulled me over, he said, don't you ever look in your rear view mirror? And I was like, what? He goes, I've been following you for five miles, and you never once looked in your rear view mirror. 
and I had my lights on the whole time. Ugh. I'll never forget that. I had never once looked in the rearview mirror. You know, that's what we do in a lot of relationships. We just want to move forward, pass away from the pain in the past. But if we don't look there sometimes, we're going to see things, we're going to miss things that we really need to know. So, you know, aim high in steering, get the big picture, and keep your eyes moving left, right, up, down, forward, and even backwards sometime. Number four, leave yourself an out. You know when you're driving and you come up right up to somebody or you're all crammed in, if something happens, you can't get yourself out of that situation. So always be looking ahead and anticipating what could go wrong, not, not, an, not an obsessive worry wart, um, but you know, logically and rationally, what could go wrong and be prepared for that. Um, that's what we learn in Boy, in Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, be prepared. So leave yourself an out, leave enough space in between you so that you don't get trapped into something. When you go out on a date with somebody, don't get yourself so close and up that you can't escape serious sin or serious situations. Don't get yourself in a restaurant or, or a place where if you came to, in with that person's car and you got to get out of there, make sure you have the Uber app on your phone or make sure, as, as we did in our day, that you have a dime in your purse to call mom. Only us old geezers remember that. So leave yourself an out. Don't be coming up too fast and too close to everybody and everything without having a proper place for escape if necessary. Number five, make sure others see you. You know, that's something I never really thought about. Um, I was thinking about me and my driving and this is what I'm doing. I'm looking around and I'm going this speed and everything. I didn't even really think about other people and maybe they weren't paying attention or maybe they were speeding or they weren't looking either. And so I had to make sure others saw me. Um, you know, you, that's why we'd stick our hand out the window and make a signal. You communicate to others so that they know who you are and where you are and what you believe and what you need and what you desire. Um, so you're a good communicator. Um, even the color of your car back in those days, um, was said something about you. They always would recommend, you know, if you could drive a car that had a little bit of color, that would help increase your visibility. But they warned, never get a red car because the highway patrol will always be looking at you. So anyway, back to make sure others see you. Um, let people know who you are. Let people know where you are and what you believe and what you stand for and what you need and what you want. Don't let people just run over you or run into you or knock you off the road, as it were. So let's go over those five uh, rules of the road again. Number one, aim high in steering. High in steering, high virtues, high morals. Go for the best. Uh, get the big picture. Number two, you know, look around, look up, look down. Keep your eyes moving. Number three, um, you know, even in back of you, what is coming up in back of you that might be getting in the way of your journey toward love? Number four, leave yourself an out. Have healthy boundaries and consequences and be prepared. And number five, make sure others see you, the real you, who you really are and what you really want and what you really do. So uh, hopefully um, you will take these also, not to just to meditation, but to prayer and see what the Lord has for you as, as, as deeper things come up for each of these five rules of the road. I know that they will help you get you exactly where you want to be in life and in love. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and follow us on Instagram and uh, know that we are with you on your journey. And uh, we're right over there. And sometimes we're right in back of you. But God is ahead of us and he's calling all of us to a beautiful life and a beautiful love. We'll see you next time.